right here and this for a change actually matches my play mat <laughs> incidentally because I haven't actually changed this in a bit it still has creases from where it came in the uh, collector's edition blu-ray set which why would someone fold it in quarters instead of roll it up anyway it's taken a long time to get most of the creases out of the playmat. Anyway, that's not why we're here. What we're here for, as you can maybe see, is Maple from Bofree. I don't want to get hurt, so I'll max out my defense. Very long title. But anyway. <clears throat> as you can see this I bought from Tana Forbidden Planet and got it okay so this was the other one that I was referring to from a previous Veldora video because it was this one and the other one I got so when I returned four or so manga books that they accidentally gave me doubles of it paid for one and a bit figure so this one as you see is a $27.99 very nice. Let's see, it's a uh, Kadokawa brand. Taito. Seems like it was a uh, crane one as well. Obviously, we don't really have crane games in this country. Well, if we do, I haven't really found any good places, unfortunately. But anyway, I am excited. So I got this version. There was a different version. I don't think it was there. But there was a different version of her sheep outfit. I prefer her main. I mean, look at it. It's pretty, isn't it? Kind of like a purple-ish. Dark purple. With the uh, rose emblem, insignia, whatever you want to call it, pattern on, on the breastplate. You can see it better on the play mat, really. But anyway, <clears throat> let's open it up. transparent. It's got the rose and her name. Or her game name, anyway. Maple. So that's pretty. Just 
put this in the recycling box. I'm going to take the tape off now. recycling if I don't want it. Anyway, I mean I can always use this plus to keep it for, I don't know, trying out some resin thing. Anyway, so we have tape stuck to my finger. Okay. I don't think they've come out with, or they might have come out with Sally, but I haven't seen figure of Sally yet. Anyway, mm, focus just. There we go, focus properly. So now there's, there's our little clip. I actually drew, drew that as a uh, maybe pin idea when I was drawing stuff a while back. But anyway. And there's the back. Very pointy hair. Let me tell you, it's pretty sharp actually. Um, it's got a little cowlick thing on top of her head. That's cute. Her fingers are really well done. Her hand in general, you know. Very nicely done. Though this hand is slightly a bit Eh, not quite smooth. Like it cracked or something. Which is annoying. But like, if you look at it from afar, I don't think you can really see. And they did a... They messed up right there on the paint job you can't really see it from afar which is good but up close that is really not professional seriously well that is really annoying i wonder if there's a way to get it off so i don't think scratching at it is supposed to do any good but the, uh, the shirt underneath, like the, the creases, very nicely done. The creases on the elbow part is done. Well done. Very nice. And this is her bottom half. Boots, very shiny. It's interesting. Feels like a different texture on the, uh, the bottom capey bit. I don't know what it's called. I mean, it's not really a cape, is it? It's like a bottom half half skirt thing. But anyway, that's pretty cool. That's a different texture. Like, you hear that? Let's see. Very nice. The, uh, the boots look kind of sparkly. And now that I think about it, this looks a bit sparkly too. Alright, so that's very nice. So, we just plop her on. Very nice and simple.
really show her on. <laughs> I want to make sure, like, you know, the back, you know, connected properly. So, and just put her foot down, basically. And voila. Be nice if you saw the whole thing. Yes, voila. Mark. I'm guessing they did too much of the lipstick and, and forgot to rub it off. We initially painted it. That is really annoying. Mm, it's an official thing. You shouldn't completely. You're gonna mess up. Don't mess up the face. Especially for handsome male figures. Shouldn't never mess up the face for those ones. But anyway. You do kind of see it. See that white right there? That's a bit where it damaged. This is really annoying. But overall, it's a very cute figure. But very annoying that it has damage. Really, really annoying. as long as I look at it from afar, really, really far, it shouldn't be too bad, but still, I'm really disappointed that they messed it up the face, and an obvious part of the hand as well. Uh, I like the base, and the sparkly, shiny parts of the armor. My expression is cute. At least they... Well, the eyes look more like, um... Well, it's sort of screen printed, so they should not mess that up. But anyway, overall, it is a cute figure. So thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching.